the wait is finally over everyone wild west dynasty is here and i'm so happy that you chose my channel to bring you this first look today in this video we're going to give you a little taste of the life you should expect in wild west dynasty while i give my opinions on the state of the game and yes, I am the player who put over 700 hours in Medieval Dynasty, and I'm going to use that experience to try to start answering the big question on my mind, will this game live up to Medieval Dynasty? But honestly, from what we've seen so far, you should be very, very skeptical of how good this game is actually going to be. I've got a few pieces of information about the game ready to share, but for now, let's just jump into it and take a first look at this game. A story about the Wild West. I can tell you a story. A mom and her kid, they were on their way back home their real home out here not the fine big new york city hadn't hurt a fly in their life well <laughs> the kid hadn't they were attacked by outlaws out of nowhere ran the horses to no avail the mom was picking a gun cause hell she was defended her cup like a bear But it helped them nothing. Nothing at all. That's your Wild West. If you want a better ending, make your own. Well, here we are, and I, for one, am excited. This is exactly where you get dropped off as soon as you exit that cutscene. And this appears to be our mother lying on the ground here awaiting help. But before we tend to her, I just wanted to take a quick moment to look around and check out these graphics. Because one of the things that made Medieval Dynasty so special was how beautifully crafted the world is. And my first impression of what I'm seeing right now is just average. Definitely nothing special. It looks pretty barren, honestly. But that's okay. It takes more than just good graphics to make a great game. Let's head back and see what our mother has to say. No voice acting. Okay, just like Medieval Dynasty. Ah, there you are. You are alive. That's good. How do you feel? My head hurts and my elbows. I got shot too. Yes, but you are still standing. You'll be better soon. I will show you some plants and... Don't worry, half pint, I'm not as bad as it looks, only a little blood. It's just my legs that can't really move them. That's bad enough, I will get help. No, we're too far away from hope and the night is closing in. You need to find shelter. Hancock's cave is not far away. I'm not leaving you behind. I can't come with you, my legs, I can't walk right now then I will carry you. It's exactly what I would have done too. Let us pick our mother up and see if we can't come find some shelter in Hancock's cave. And as we look around here, we can see a little bit of the foliage, what's all going on around us. And it, it doesn't look that impressive, especially this character model right here that we're gonna have to stare at the entire game does not look very good at all. We'll see if we can't set our mother down 
now that we've found some shelter and it looks like we're going to talk to her again well done half pint we should be safe here mom you're bleeding again how can i help you what shall i do first take this the deed to our land and surely my beloved half pint has heard of draw gears latest invention a dr i think this is a picture there is a tinker here who has but no time for that what matters are the people depicted here let me show you this is me my little baby and my arms is you here we have your father standing next to roger a friend he tried to fix things between us and your siblings your brother and your sister they're on the right here should i be reading all this you guys <laughs> or should i just skip right through it? it 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 may be important we'll read it looks like we're gonna get a little fire for our mom no my dear you can't remember but it gets terribly cold at night here so cold we'll build her a fire should be no problem we'll gather some sticks we'll gather some stones and we will keep our mom warm for the night seems easy enough and it's incredibly hard to get my mouse right over these sticks. I tried turning my sensitivity down and it didn't do anything. So that's one thing the game does not have going for it. The setting for sensitivity doesn't actually change anything. But we'll power through. We'll grab these sticks, we'll grab these stones, and we will make a campfire. There we are. We'll get this built and we will get it placed down about right here. That should keep you warm, Mom. It looks like we'll need a few ingredients to light the campfire. Just some more sticks and stones. That should be no problem for an adventurer like us. Should be good. We'll get this lit and then we will go back and talk to mother. But before we do, I wanted to take a look to this crafting menu. And there are a few things here. It looks like we'll actually be starting out with a bow instead of a gun, which is cool. Um, not really too much, but I have to imagine, or I know for a fact, as you progress through the game, you unlock more things that you're allowed to create. But the basics are the basics, probably about what you'd expect in a Wild West game. Well done, half pint, well done. Now rest, you look exhausted, sleep. I think you are right, I feel dizzy, but we will get up early in the morning and take you to the doctor. Of course, half pint, we will do that tomorrow, don't worry about me. I am where I want to be in this cave. My little secret. Never mind, sleep now. Don't be afraid of anything not out here. No, this is home. I know. Whoops. <laughs> I'll be quiet during this. She cutscene. never finished those words. They were her last. She died that night in her most favorite place of all. I know she didn't want to. I know she fought. She would never have left you like this in a foreign world in such danger. Devastated after you tried so hard. But sometimes we have no choice. I always hated funerals. Wasn't the reason why I didn't attend this one. Only learned about it later. I should have been there. Been there for a child who lost a mom. A past. A future should have protected you should have too many should haves rest in peace Phoebe I promise no more our poor mother didn't quite make the journey 
you can see where we laid her to rest back behind us. We'll grab this lamp and we will keep going. That was an interesting cutscene. I didn't like how the first half of it was completely dark. Very, very strange. But we're just going to move past it. Looks like we need to go find help on the Hermit Farm. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the game is definitely stuttering a little bit. We're dropping frames, which is especially when I start to sprint like that. Which is interesting because I'm not streaming it right now. I'm just recording and my PC should definitely be able to handle any game you throw at it. So this one's probably poorly optimized. But we'll get out of here. We'll head down to the farm. We have the scenery here of the Red Canyon. And they do plan on bringing out additional biomes as the game is released. So what you see here will be most of what you see moving forward in the early game. But we can expect a winter biome to come out soon and a pretty dense forest as well. As we run down here to the Hermit, I just want to take a quick moment to remind you guys that I will be covering Wild West Dynasty here on the channel. We'll have plenty of tips videos, plenty of tutorials for the more intricate parts of the game, updates on how the game is progressing, and other things of that nature, including a playthrough. And this is kind of like a sneak peek of the playthrough. It'll probably be a little bit more edited than this. Look at this fire right here. That's got like six frames. <laughs> yeah, game definitely does not look good, but there's more to a game than graphics, and hopefully we'll be able to explore that here on the channel. As you can see, there are some turkeys here some of the farmable animals that you could have in the game i know the other animals are goats chickens cows and of course horses the animals that you can farm and there also are things you can plant as well but besides corn oats and pumpkins i don't i don't remember the other ones but that's there, and that's something to be excited about. Blast from the past, we'll talk to Ed here. Whoa! You doing okay there, Ed? Good sir, can you please help me? No time for any of your business, need to take care of my own. Ed's throwing me off here a little bit. Me and my mother got attacked by bandits. They killed her and left me to die. Sorry to hear that. It's the truth. Might be. See what happens out here. Especially since the next fort is far away and the sheriff is a crook. And this is our first optional text dialogue. So you're not trying to trick me to sell me anything in a desperate effort to get enough gold to avenge your mother's death? Bugger off, I got sewing to do. Yeah, of course, I plowed last week, removed the weeds, and now I will sew those. That's what we're about to be doing, we're about to be farming. Ed! <laughs> I must have forgotten the seeds inside. Know what? Grab them off my table in the house, bring them here. Sure thing. Sure thing, Ed. One thing we probably won't get to see in this video is the wildlife, but I do know that there are scorpions, snakes, wolves, coyotes, bison, raccoon, and other rodents. We'll take whatever we can from Ed. He doesn't really seem to mind with a little bit of extra food to start our journey off. And he'll get some clothing and a farmer's handbook. And these books should open up new crops.
craftables for us. Nighttime is approaching and seasons will play an effect in the game just like we saw in Medieval Dynasty will have to survive against not only the world but the weather as well. How do I look in? We'll put that shirt on. Did I just crash the gate? My mouse is gone. Nope, we can tab out. We're okay. Let's see if we can't put this hat on as well. I thought we were done there. There we go. What is a cowboy without his hat? We'll go back and talk to Ed, give him these seeds, and I guess we'll start working the field. Your seeds, they were right where you left them. Oats, what else? Prairie soil is perfect for grass, so grains grow decently. Could do wheat for bread or barley for beer, but oats are a staple around here. So it looks like we can do wheat or barley as well, along with pumpkins and corn. So there's at least four different crop types. It's kind of hard to see what I'm supposed to be doing with all this stuff on the sides of my screen, but I assume this is just because we're a little bit hurt. We gotta find the hoe. The hoe for Farmer Ed. And I'm not seeing a quest marker anywhere, so this thing could really be anywhere around here. One thing that I hope is different in Medieval Dynasty is the UI. That's something that they never seem to get right in the old Medieval game. Was how the user interface should work. And I see, I see a hoe back here. We'll grab this and I guess we'll bring it back to Ed. And I'm sure farming can't be that difficult. No need to read any of these tip screens. About time that we quickly cover the ground and push it gently down, and we're done. I'm Ed Hancock. I own this farm. Hancock is in Hancock's Cave, named after my very own grandmother. And then some other junk. And your grandmother was? Neither, like I told you, she was an explorer. But if she wasn't married, how could she have children? And then he's gonna rag on us for being young and naive. One of the great things about Medieval Dynasty was the text, the writing of everything. And it'd be pretty difficult for a game to get on par of what Medieval Dynasty had to offer. But I'm sure this game will take its best shot at it and I don't think we'll be able to determine that from what we see here. Let's go get some agave. Heal up a little bit. There should be some over here in the forest region. Is that thing got fruits in it? Do you guys see any fruits here? Looks like a regular bush to me. Looks like a regular bush to me, but we'll just roll right past that act like that did have berries or something on it. This will be good. Good for the hot desert sun. 
we ever get a little bit sunburned, heal up our gunshot wound, I guess. I don't know too much about agave, but... Pretty sure we can put it in a drink. We're not going to talk about that here. Where's old Eddie at? Don't worry if you got too many, you can always sell them at the settlement further down the path to the northeast. Now let me show you how it's used. Your best option is always a bed. Perhaps one day you will own a fancy home and sleep in your own bed. Until then, you have to rent. You got money on you, right? I don't think so. The bandits probably took them, yeah. Of course, they would have. Look, I can offer you a spare bed in my house if you are willing to help me out around the farm. Nothing too fancy. Well, that's really generous. Thank you. Thank you. You should have a fair chance. Okay. Okay, bad joke there. <laughs> Come on, Wild West Dynasty. You can do it. You can do it. Get it together. And it looks like we're gonna have two crafts. No, find a bed. It's hard to read through that uh, thing up top. Maybe it'll be better by morning though. And we are. There's still a little something covering what the quests are supposed to be doing. Hmm. Okay. Looks like Ed is tending to the turkeys, which is something that I'm excited to have someday. And Ed is going to take us on a brief walk through what type of food to eat stuff like that i've seen this all before because <laughs> they gave the keys out to other streamers and i was watching them before the game released <laughs> so like i don't know what's gonna happen you guys <laughs> he's gonna make us get some water get some food do all that type of stuff but anywho we'll probably skip through all this and we will be right back well, we've made it to town. The only thing you guys missed was I brought some flowers to our deceased mother's grave. And that was about it. Then it was just some running around. And now we're here. And I kind of wanted to open this up just to show you guys the taxation. The town here looks like there are some pigs back here ready to be bought by us and farms. We're going to take a quick look around here and we'll probably call it a day for this first impressions video and if i were to summarize the first 45 minutes or so of this game i would probably say underwhelming very very underwhelming everything looks bad um i wasn't particularly a fan of the story writing but that doesn't mean that there isn't still hope for this game. Most of the nuances of the game will be coming a little bit later, like building your settlement, which is something that I'm really excited about. And yes, just like in Medieval Dynasty, you can go and build anywhere that you want. Farming. Look at all these plots around here. You know, there's still stuff to be excited about. Greetings with an awful stench here, dying is, yeah. I kind of given up reading for this stream. <laughs> yes, I'm Ed told me that if you buy agaves and coincidence, I had a few agaves with me, how much would I get? Oh yes, Ed told me as well. Karen, I wanted to be polite. Sounds good. And she wants me to perform a small task for her. But we're not going to do that. We're going to take a look around at the menu. I'm going to take show you guys what all is out there, what we can see. 
before calling it into this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed sticking around with me through this first initial playthrough, first look, because like I said earlier, I will be covering the game good, bad, somewhere in the middle. I'll have it right here on this channel. I'll be back soon. That's like it's telling us about the journal, but we already looked through all this. Probably whenever we were away. You guys didn't get to see it, but I've already looked through everything to kind of gather my thoughts on what I wanted to say. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot look at the Dynasty or Technology tab, which is unfortunate because the technology is mostly what I was excited about. We can see the map here, and from what we can see, it's got to be small. Because if that's the old farm in the bottom, and that's the city we just made it to, it was not a very long walk to get here. So there's no way the map is going to be big. But they, like I said earlier, they are planning on adding additional biomes. We can't really see anything about the management tab. Um, but it will be a little bit different than Medieval Dynasty because you can hook up transports between cities. Where in Medieval Dynasty, all of that was just automatic. There is a sealed tree and we can take a look at it. Um, at least the first two levels, that is. Maybe the rest will unlock as we progress. And here's a helpful tip for you. Go for the specialist first. This will allow faster XP. And in any game, faster XP is almost always the route to take. And we got a few more skills over there if you want to pause the screen and read what these are about. But anywho, yeah, that's, that's about what's on the screen. I really, really wish we could take a look at the technology. I don't know if it's bugging because you can see it, the both selected in the top, or we just can't look at it yet because we're too new to the game. But hopefully we'll unlock that soon and I'll be able to show you guys here on the channel. If you're thinking about purchasing Wild West Dynasty, I would advise you to do a lot more research. Watch other first playthroughs. I think some people went a little bit longer than what I did in this first game. Definitely definitely understand that you are about to get into a very, very unpolished, mostly bad looking game. Just being honest here. If you, got, if you can just wait a little bit, <laughs> I'll show you more. But we're going to close it down here. I appreciate everyone who may be watching this video. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed. Until next time, this is Simply Syrup, signing off.